This video is presented to you by Physics for Students. Leopold Kronecker was a German mathematician who worked on number theory, algebra and logic. Leopold Kronecker was born on 7th December 1823 in Prussia in a wealthy Jewish family. His parents, Isidore and Johanna, took care of their children's education and provided them with private tutoring at home. In 1841, Kronecker became a student at the University of Berlin where his interest did not immediately focus on mathematics but rather on subjects like astronomy and philosophy. Kronecker acquired a passion for number theory from Ernst Kummer. Kummer is known for his contribution of ideal numbers, which are defined as a special subgroup of a ring, extended the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to complex number fields. He is also known for Bessel functions, Kummer theory and Kummer surface. Kronecker became a student at Berlin University in 1841 and there he studied under Dirichlet, a German mathematician who contributed significantly in developing number theory, Fourier series and other topics. He also worked with Rudolf Steiner, an Austrian spiritualist whose main area of interest was metaphysics, epistemology. He was the founder of Anthroposophy, a movement based on the notion that there is a spiritual world comprehensible to pure thought but accessible only to the highest faculties of mental knowledge. The basis of Kronecker's objection to Weierstrass's methods of analysis is revealed in his well-known dictum that God himself made the whole numbers, everything else is the work of men. Kronecker believed that all arithmetic could be based upon whole numbers and whole numbers only. He further classified all mathematical disciplines except geometry and mechanics as arithmetical a category that specifically included algebra and analysis. He never actually stated his intention of recasting analysis without irrational numbers, however, and it is possible that he did not take his radical notions altogether seriously himself. Weierstrass could not afford to regard Kronecker's demands as merely whimsical, in 1885, he claimed indignantly that for Kronecker, it was an axiom that equations could exist only between the whole numbers, while he, Weierstrass, granted irrational numbers the same validity as any other concepts. Kronecker's greatest mathematical achievements lie in his efforts to unify arithmetic, algebra and analysis, and most particularly in his work on elliptical functions. His boundary formulas are particularly noteworthy in this regard since they laid bare the deepest relationships between arithmetic and elliptical functions and provided the basis for Eric Hecht's later analytic arithmetical investigations. Kronecker also introduced a number of formal refinements in algebra and in the theory of numbers and many new theorems and concepts. Among the latter, special mention should be made of his theorem in regard to the cyclotomic theory, according to which all algebraic numbers with abelian and Galois groups over the rational number field are rational combinations of roots of unity. 
His theorem on the convergence of infinite series is also significant. The most important aspects of Kronecker's work were manifested as early as his dissertation of 1845. In his treatment of complex units, Kronecker sought to present a theory of units in an algebraic number field and indeed to present a whole system of units as a group. Twenty-five years later, he succeeded in constructing an implicit system of axioms to rule finite abelian groups, although he did not at that time apply it explicitly to such groups. His work does lay clearly in the line of development of modern algebra. Kronecker was nevertheless preeminent in uniting the separate mathematical disciplines. Moreover, in certain ways, his refusal to recognize an actual infinity, his insistence that a mathematical concept must be defined in a finite number of steps, and his opposition to the work of Cantor and Dietkind his approach may be compared to that of intuitionists in the 20th century. Kronecker's mathematics thus remains influential. Thank you.